What is a procedure? A procedure is a reusable chunk of code that you can call to perform a task. Yeah, computers are really unintelligent, so to get anything meaningful done, it takes a lot of instructions. So what, what we want to do is package those instructions into a group of instructions, and we call these procedures. Yeah, that's right. Splash Kit contains a whole lot of procedures that you can call to do lots of different tasks. So we could, you know, fill a rectangle, um, make the computer delay, open windows, things like that. Check out the website for a whole list of things that you can get the computer to do by calling these procedures. Cool. So all artifacts need to have a name. That's the identifier. Procedures can also have a number of parameters. Uh, and these are used to accept values when the procedure is called. We'll look at those in a little bit more detail later on. Cool. Uh, so the procedure obviously contains instructions it needs to perform its task. So here we have three instructions. There could be more, there could be less. Yeah. And the way that you use a procedure is to execute a procedure call. And the procedure call runs the procedure. Cool. There's a video on that. Cool. So here's a syntax diagram for how we declare a procedure. So this is an example of creating the draw house procedure. So following the diagram, we can provide the name, which is an identifier. We then have a block of code, which contains inside it a number of statements. So here in our case, to draw the house, we're just going to fill a rectangle and then fill a triangle for the roof. Right. So these two instructions will fill the, draw the house, and uh, that will be our procedure. Yeah. When you're designing a procedure, the best way to think about doing this is uh, to picture yourself uh, as being the procedure. So you've been asked to do a task. Yep. So if I've asked you to draw a house, you then picture yourself, well, what do I need to do to draw that house? So I know I need to fill a rectangle, so I perform the procedure called fill a rectangle, and then I can perform fill triangle, yep. uh, and that will draw my house. Yeah. When you use a procedure, the great thing is you can picture it as a black box. You don't need to worry about how it works. So here we have the procedure fill rectangle. It's responsible for knowing how to fill a rectangle. So we can call that without needing to worry about how it actually works. Right, OK. So when you're designing the procedure, you've got to really work out the details of how it works. But once it's designed, you can picture it as a black box. It works. You call it. It does whatever you designed it to do at right. that time, or what somebody else designed it to do. Cool. So post a comment below with some ideas for possible procedures you'd like to make in your programs. We look forward to seeing that. Thanks. Thanks.